Well, what's up everyone? It's Bob. I'm back again. Welcome to the Sweet Life Money YouTube channel where I help people crush debt, build wealth, and live their ultimate sweet life. Let's get started. Today we're talking about Churchill Mortgage. If you are looking around to either refinance your home loan or you're buying a new home, congratulations by the way, and you're looking for a home loan that will be uh, acceptable and will service you well, is Church Home Mortgage the right opportunity? Now, I just recently refinanced with Church Hill. And today I'm going to share with you the good, the okay, and the ugly on my own personal Church Hill Mortgage review. Stay tuned. So we'll start off with the good and bad, but be sure to watch this the entire way through because I am going to share with you a little bit of a word of caution based on my own experience with Churchill that I wish I would have known when I got started. And I want to make sure that if you're actually looking into uh, contacting Churchill, uh, that, you, that you keep this in mind before you get to this point. So if you're ready to get started, crush that like button right now and be sure to subscribe to become part of the Sweet Life Money channel. And after all, crushing the like button, subscribing, it's like one of the few free things you can do these days. So take advantage of it. So founded in 1992 and touted as a high recommendation from Dave Ramsey, Churchill Mortgage has ultimately become a uh, very famous mortgage lender. And that's again, I think thanks to Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey, of course, helps people get out of debt, has the total money maker over, has the financial peace, and a podcast that's listened to by millions of people. Churchill Mortgage is really one of the only mortgage lenders who promote debt-free home ownership. It, it kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's true. And they promote products and they help you navigate those products based on what will work best for you so you can get out of your home loan and become totally debt-free. Wow. Imagine a life with no mortgage payments. What would you do with that extra money that you would get every month? Comment below and let me know. What would you do? Would you go on more vacations? Would you buy more cool things? What would you do? Comment below. So Churchill Mortgage, let's go over the pros and cons. I'm going to start with the pros, going to end with the cons. And then again, I'm going to give you a little bit of that ugly that I'm talking about, that word of warning right at the end. So first, the pros. Churchill Mortgage it does offer the conventional, the adjustable rate mortgage, the FHA, USDA, VA loans, all that kind of stuff. Typically, if your credit score was within 620 for the loans or for the FHA back loan, at least a credit score of 580. They do also offer jumbo loans and, very important for the Dave Ramsey followers, loans to those people that may not have a credit score. So I think that's a big pro, especially if you're somebody that has worked the Dave Ramsey program. Let's say you're out of debt. Let's say you've been renting an apartment. You're completely out of consumer debt. And because you don't have any debt to your name, your FICO score is a big fat zero. And that's not really a bad thing. That means you probably have a lot of money in the bank. But it's sometimes very hard to get a mortgage. It's sometimes very hard to get credit when you don't have any credit history. So Churchill offers you opportunities to be able to do that through looking at other things. How are your cell phone bills being paid? How are your electric bills being paid? Are you on time with those type of things? And they walk you through that. And as long as you can prove that out, you're set and ready to go with Churchill Mortgage. I also found their underwriting in the closing process with my personal refinance was very smooth, efficient, and to the point. But let's talk about some cons to the Churchill Mortgage process. Number one, they do not offer home equity products. So if you're somebody that's looking for a home equity loan, of course, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to do that. But if you're interested, don't go to Churchill, they're not gonna be able to offer you that. They're only in the business of doing the conventional loans and things like that for new home ownership or for refinance purposes. And then the second thing I didn't really like was the website did seem a little bit basic or a little bit hard to navigate. And really you don't get a lot of information on your website until you get connected with one of their representatives. Once you do that, then they'll give you some information. You'll be able to kind of do everything electronically, which is kind of a pro, but the con before that pro is really, it's hard to navigate that website and get the information you're looking for right off the bat. So let me take you behind the scenes a little bit. I'm actually going to show you, what it looks like when you get connected. And again, I did a refinance of my home mortgage because my goal is to pay off debt and become completely mortgage free. Go check out my channel. You can scroll through all the videos where I'm talking about how to pay off your mortgage and why you want to stay motivated to pay off your mortgage. And I thought Churchill Mortgage would be a great opportunity. Of course, I'm a follower of Dave Ramsey to really take in kind of jumpstart that process. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes of when I went through my refinance, put up some things on the board. I got my phone here. I'm going to kind of scroll through and take you step by step. 
And then of course, like I promised, I will share that one thing, that word of warning that I just want you to know about before you sign up to refinance or purchase your new home. So what's really cool is they set up a pre call with you and that's once you get all the information kind of what you're looking to do what your goals are they'll kind of talk you through all that and then they'll present you with this website and i thought this was really neat what it basically will do is it takes you through how much money you can expect to pay it, it, it kind of sizes up especially for refinances here's what your current mortgage looks like here's what option one two three four would look like based on what we talked about. And they can throw in products such as a 15 year mortgage, a 30 year mortgage, an adjustable rate mortgage, a conventional loan, whatever is kind of best suited for your financial future and your current state of affairs at the time. So you can see here they were recommending to me a 30 year fixed conventional. I have a 30 year fixed conventional with points. Points are where you pay up in advance to lower the interest rate. I do not recommend that. Uh, and then there's also opportunities for a 25 year fixed uh, as well. I actually did not opt for a 15 year mortgage. And I know a lot of people say, well, why not? That kind of sounds like a dumb idea. The reason I went with a 30 year mortgage on this particular refinance is uh, I, I wanted to do a few special things and I wanted to pay it off like it's a five year mortgage. So who cares at the end of the day, if you pay off because of the amortization schedule, if you pay off your mortgage with the right intensity and with a big enough shovel of money that you can throw at it, you get an opportunity to not even worry about how long it is because at the end of the day, you're not really paying that much interest if you pay it off very fast and with intensity. So what I wanted to do and what I challenged Churchill to do is I said, I want to, as part of this refinance, eliminate one private mortgage insurance because i hate that that's literally flushing money down the toilet i want to get rid of paying escrow i don't like paying my uh, taxes and my insurance with my monthly mortgage payment i think that's annoying now that does come with a sense of responsibility you got to make sure that you save up enough money to be able to pay your taxes and pay over your home insurance directly out of your own pocket when those things come due. But if you have the responsibility to do that, I actually recommend that because what I do is I take all that money, I throw it in a savings account earning 1% or more greater interest, and I leave it sit there for a year until they say, hey, we want our money. Then I throw it at them, I keep the interest, and all is good. Why not do that as opposed to this escrow account where you're throwing money to the mortgage you're not earning interest. They just save it for you and they pay it for you. That kind of just annoys the hell out of me. And then every year they come back with an escrow analysis and then you got to, oh, we underestimated your taxes. Now we need extra money on your mortgage every month and, and your monthly payment. And, and we want you to do this and that. No, 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 no. So I said, Churchill, get me out of that. And they responded and they did. Had to go up a little bit on my interest rate. So my interest rate did bump up by 0.25%. Uh, I'm like, whatever, that's fine. Thank you, Churchill, for getting me out of that. But what's great about this website that they have here is they take you through and you can adjust figures based on what works best for you. As I was going through my conference call with my representative, he was plugging in numbers and I could see him doing it live on the screen. So that was a, a bit of cool technology that we were working with there to make sure that I was making the right decision and the right buy-in decision because it does of course cost you money to refinance a loan but thanks to churchill and how well they presented that information i said let's do it i'm excited i'm fired up and i'm ready to make this happen so all in all i will say churchill for either home ownership or for refinance is a good call here's the word of warning you've been waiting for this here is the ugly the word of warning churchill mortgage is a lender so what that means with mortgage lender responsibility is they will get you all set up you'll close on your mortgage and then typically they're going to quickly sell that to a mortgage servicer there are investments uh, such as fannie mae you may have heard of them before fannie mae freddie mac Ginny mae all that kind of stuff where they are uh, backed by the u.s government but they're also you know mortgage investors so they basically clump all these mortgages into that and then you get stuck with a mortgage servicer so keep that in mind that you will not be a year from now even a couple months from now paying your monthly mortgage to churchill mortgage you will not be going onto their website and, and and filling out your check to churchill you're not going to be doing anything with churchill after you close your loan maybe a month or two before they figure out who they're going to you know pass you off to so just keep that in mind i will say that transition was a little bumpy for me 
Uh, they transferred me over to a mortgage servicer who was going through a lot of change at the time. They redid their website. It was a complete and bloody headache. I had to say, hey, I sent in my payment and you didn't reflect it. And then they lost my payment. And then all this other stuff happened. I had to figure out where my money was. And that, you know, when, when you're paying a mortgage payment, that's a lot of money to be worried about. Where the hell is it? And why aren't you reflecting my payment in my mortgage? So flash forward today, they finally got the website fixed. Website is awesome. Everything is fine now. But that was a bit of a hassle. But overall, I would recommend Churchill Mortgage based on what you're looking for, whether it's a refinance or your first home. And if it is, I want to say congratulations. So if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like. The like not only helps this video, but it helps this channel. This is a growing channel and I certainly appreciate the support. And make sure you subscribe to become part of the Sweet Life Money family because together we're going to crush debt, build wealth, and live the ultimate sweet life because you deserve it. Have an awesome day and we'll see you on the next video.